I don't know if I'd say there's a definitive master of horror when it comes to East Asian media, but if there's one name that seems universally synonymous with the genre, it's Junji Ito. Although it's an older edition of my collection, with Skeleton Season Upon Us breaking out his 2014 anthology Fragments of Horror felt a little more timely. Ito is a fascinating writer and artist, and has maybe one of the most delightfully warped imaginations to grace the page. One of the aspects that I find interesting about Ito's approach to horror is how his stories transform the inconspicuous into something preternatural. For example, Uzumaki is a story that effectively revolves around a town haunted and tortured by a cursed spiral pattern. On its face, that doesn't sound scary, but Ito's approach is to take a single, often mundane or innocuous concept, and then skew the perspective, warping and distorting it until it has become an ethereal nightmare. Up front, I'll say that this isn't my favorite of Ito's works, but it's compelling to me personally because of what it is, an artist attempting to return to his craft after some time away. In the afterword, which really should have been a forward in my mind, Ito laments his eight-year hiatus from publishing horror manga in this fashion. He clearly had reservations about the potential deprecation of his abilities, and so in part, these stories feel like we're watching him return to form. The approach to this anthology is akin to ghost stories or urban legends. Nothing too complex or involved, but fun, creepy jaunts to amuse the reader at the very least. There are seven stories in this collection with varying length and levels of effectiveness. While the stories themselves may not be satisfying in every instance, the ideas are so eclectic, outlandish, and unsettling that it's enjoyable in a way external to the narrative. Some of the entries feel more fully realized and satisfying overall. Gentle Goodbye and Whispering Woman are among the standouts in this instance, but Blackbird, Wood Spirit, and Megami Nanakuse also possess a more substantive narrative. Megami Nanakuse, Dissection Chan, and Red Turtleneck feel like explorations of how far Ito could push the boundaries on some of the stranger horror elements. Nanakuse and Dissection Chan really press on the obsession angle found in some of Ito's other work in a way that the other stories do not. Dissection Chan might have actually been the least enjoyable for me, in part because of how weak it felt in comparison to the supernatural entries, but I also found that style of implied body horror to be off-putting, so someone who enjoys that sort of thing might find it more palatable. Of all the twists and turns, I think the reveal in Blackbird is my favorite and stuck with me the longest. The weakest story in the anthology is likely Futon. It feels less like a story and more like a sort of framing device. Ito himself even admits that he and his editor had reservations about this story, and it's likely because of all the entries, it's the least narratively consistent and badly paced. It's short too, so by the time you're into the action, it's over. Not to be overlooked, Ito's artwork is visually stunning. His surreal and disturbing visuals always hint at a twisted playfulness, as though he's practically teasing the audience, throwing more and more unsettling imagery their way, all the while enjoying what he's concocting. While his style has evolved in subtle ways, it's still distinctly Ito, from the character designs to the intricately detailed monstrosities he conjures. I'm recommending this anthology for people who either have a fascination with weird horror concepts, or aspiring writers who are interested in the horror genre and looking to explore narrative architecture. I think individuals dedicated to crafting stories might benefit from seeing just how far you can push the limits on horror and find inspiration in Ito's work. While this isn't the best place to start if you're just getting into Ito, if you do enjoy these stories, check out his other standalone titles. Those are definitely interesting, to say the least. <laughs>